welcome to the Midwest. My name is Jesse, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Afterdrop. I've been getting a lot of questions about Afterdrop, different variations on similar, basically the same thing. Uh, and then today, I just recently got an email from, uh, from a viewer named Brandon. I appreciate this question. I think it crystallizes what a lot of you guys were asking about. Um, I do have other videos about Afterdrop on my channel, but today I'm going to cover um, a specific kind of question. And I think it has a lot to do with, uh, with the, I guess, the downside of social media. And, and just, well, let, me, let me just talk about it. Okay, so, so this is from Brandon. And Brandon, he has been doing mostly cold showers, and then he started to do ice bathing. And he's starting off with you know, cold water and not a whole lot of ice, but he's, but he's using it in his tub and he has, has started to, to, to feel after drop a little bit. And he's like, okay. So on his first time he felt, uh, he felt after drop maybe for fi about 15 minutes, his first ice bath. Uh, he felt after drop for about 15 minutes. Um, and then Brandon, you went and you took another ice bath, but this time you went in the ice bath for even longer. Um, which is just, I mean, don't do that. Right. So, so and you knew that and you, you were talking about that in your, your email. Um, but then after that, uh, he, he exposed his head on, he put his head underwater. He felt like he had the need to feel, put his, to submerge his head underwater. And he just had really, really bad after drop. Not only has he had after drop, but even for a few days afterwards, he's had after drop, um, or at least what he feels like might be after drop. Now let's talk about this. First of all, after drop is there's a difference in after drop and what I might call um, like the equivalent of sore muscles in your um, uh, I guess uh, capillaries. Okay, so so after drop. First of all, with after drop, you will feel severely cold inside. You will feel nauseous, possibly lightheaded. You, suddenly, you feel like you have no energy. Um, you just feel bad. There's a certain, almost like a uh, feeling of certain doom. You know, sometimes I've had after drops so hard that it's just, it's just like, oh my God, what is, what have I done, right? So after drop, you will not, you're not going to mistake after drop. It just feels terrible. Um, it is not a good feeling. Actually, I have had some, I have had one or two of you guys said that you enjoy the after drop. I don't understand you, man. I just don't get it. After drop for me, I, and most, most <laughs> anyone I've ever talked to, just, you just hate after drop. Um, one of you guys, I, I had an email uh, from a person who lives in California in a, in a really warmer climate. And he said that he likes the after drop because um, <laughs> of, it makes hot days seem much cooler. And, and here's the thing, here's the thing. After drop is something you want to avoid. And let me just tell you why. Uh, there's, there, there are some possibilities uh, for, for if, you're, if you're always going to after drop, uh, you could go too far. You, you're on that edge, and that means that you're on the edge of hypothermia. So, so hypothermia is a real thing, and it sucks. And, it, and once you, you actually get to a certain level uh, where your body temperature has gone down so far, you're going to most likely need professional help. So don't mess with after drop, you know, even if, I don't know, and I, I hesitate to, I don't even know if what you're calling after drop is maybe what I call it, what, what, what after drop would be, technically be considered to be. I don't know uh, exactly what you're feeling. Uh, for those of you who said you like the feeling of after drop, but Brandon, uh, you asked a question because not only did you feel this, this horrible after drop, but now even you know, a few days later, you feel sensitive to the cold. You kind of feel shivery and, and you're like, what did I do? Did I break myself? So after drop is going to be somewhat immediate. The best thing to do if you get after drop is to try to clear your mind and relax. That is the best thing you can do. Your body literally, your body does know how to get over this after drop, but it does need some time. If you feel if you feel like it is extreme after drop, I've never had to do this. Um, well, actually one time, one time I did take, I just, I got in the hot shower because I was just, just, it, I was just drained, miserable, 
feeling terrible. I got into a hot shower and just stayed there until I warmed up. Um, but one of the things you can do is put hot water into a uh, into little water bottles. Like so, get a, get a water bottle of hot water and put it in your armpits, um, and that actually uh, that that can help you warm up a lot faster. Uh, be sure to you know kind of lay down, but you want to clear your mind. You want to let your body do what your body knows how to do. You don't want to freak out and get uh, you know be afraid. I know it's a it's an awkward, weird awful kind of an experience but if you get after drop the best thing you can do is relax try not to panic understand that it will pass and if you really are if you if you're really afraid that you might have pushed yourself too far take your temperature okay if it continues to go down you know within the my rule of thumb is that double the time you were in the cold Okay, so like, let's suppose you were, you were in the cold for three minutes. After six minutes, your temperature should be stable. It should be stabilizing. And if, if it's not, if it's continuing to go down, well, okay, you need to, you need to be, so hopefully someone's there to observe you, okay? Um, and that's a good time to do the bottles under the arms. That's a good time to do... Uh, to, to go into a, a heated place and, you know, it's okay to have blankets and all these things. Don't feel like you're cheating Wim Hof. You know, it's totally okay. Now, if, if you push yourself to after drop often, if you do that often, what you're going to do is you're going to teach yourself, you're going to teach your brain that when I go into the cold, I get after drop. Okay, there's going to be almost a Pavlovian response. It, it's not necessarily that you're causing yourself to always get after drop. It's what it's going to do, though. You're going to look at the cold as something that is scary, even worse than if you had never gotten the after drop. Okay, even worse than before you started Wim Hof Method and knew that the cold is your warm friend. If you always go, if you keep pushing yourself to after drop, you're going to make this experience suck so bad. You're just not going to want to do it anymore. You're going to be afraid of it. You're going to feed the fear because you weren't smart enough to, to know, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to limit myself to, to something I know for sure I can accomplish. You should always be getting out of the, the ice bath or the cold shower or whatever when you're feeling good. If you're shivering, get out of there. You've waited too long. I'm sorry, you've waited too long. If you're feeling cold on the inside, I'm sorry, you've waited too long. But as soon as you feel that, you better get out fast. Don't, don't say, no, I can, I can, you know, I'll just, I, I got to get those three minutes or I've got to get these two minutes. And really, at the end of the day, whenever, if you come to like an advanced workshop, I'm going to tell you that really we shouldn't even be going for time. Right? And, and the Western mind is like, well, wait a minute, I have to be able to quantify this. What do you mean we don't go for time? Don't, don't get so hung up on these kind of guideposts. They're, they're helpful at first, especially. And they're helpful at first also to make sure you don't overdo it. Right? But don't say, well, no, I have to sit here for five minutes or I have to sit here for 10 minutes and just be miserable because you're teaching yourself that the cold is not your friend. You're teaching yourself that when I go in the cold, I have this bad reaction. You're gonna be doing that. And so that's why we want to avoid after drop. Now, the other thing Brandon was talking about is feeling, a, feeling sensitive to the cold for 48 hours even, in his case, after his ice bath experience. After, his, after he pretty much got out of the state of being in after drop. And he's like, is this after drop? Well, no, it's not after drop. That's, that's the good news, it's not after drop. What that is, essentially, if you think about like a sore muscle, you notice uh, if, you, like, if you go work out real hard, you're going to be sore for a while. You have an enormous amount of these tiny little muscles in your capillaries. And whenever they're in the cold or in the heat, they open, they close. And what you've done is you've stressed them so much that, I, you know, kind of in a, the, I guess the easiest way to think about it is that they're sore and they're not working quite as well. Have you ever like done a leg day? 
one of the things we're going to start talking about on this channel is weight training and cold exposure or, you know, some of these other things uh, with health and wellness. But if you've ever done it like a hard leg day and then you try to go play basketball or sprint, you're just incapable of doing your maximum, right? You're, you're just going to be slow. And that's kind of what you're experiencing. You're okay. You didn't break yourself. But you definitely push yourself way too hard, Brandon. So, and, and, for, and this is not just Brandon I'm talking to. I've had a lot of emails that are sort of in this vein, right? So my best advice to you is, is understand that there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with the method. The method is absolutely right on the money. And you are capable of more than you know. But you have to learn to listen to that voice that's on the inside. You have to stop with this, you know, you have to stop with this expectation that just because I'm doing Wim Hof methods, somehow, suddenly, magically, I'm immune to all the laws of nature. Wim Hof himself, if he stayed in the cold long enough, would die of hypothermia. You know, he's experienced hypothermia many times, right? I mean, I've had after drop lots and lots of times. Fortunately, I've never had hypothermia, but it, you know, it doesn't negate the fact that you've done something incredible by beginning your cold training. Just think about how many people you know who would even dare take a cold shower, okay? So the thing, it's working, but don't expect to somehow be overnight um, a master, okay? Mastery of anything takes time, and that's what this is. It takes time, okay? You're doing great. Just, just pump your brakes a little bit, as they say. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please hit like, subscribe, and uh, I hope to, uh, to, hope to uh, have some, uh, some more videos next week on some things with nutrition, supplementation, even weight training. Um, but until then, don't forget to go out there and be nice to people. Snow Angel.